Hi, my name is Lizzie, and today I'm going to show you my typical makeup routine. Well, typically I don't wear any makeup at all because I'm home all day and no one sees me, but on the off chance that I am wearing makeup, it's because I have to turn my camera on for some meeting and I just wanna feel something, anything. So I've been using this for a while, this Kosas, Kosas, I've never known how to say it, uh, tinted face oil, my shade is three and it's very light coverage, um, but it just kind of is like something to like smooth you out. Um, I don't love foundation that's like super heavy, so this has been really great for me. And I've also recently combined it with the Kosas, um, Kosas concealer, and it goes really well. My shade is, I got a two because I wanted it to be a little lighter than my normal, um, this shade, so I'm gonna put that on. You will see me using these brushes. I just wanna say that I don't support Jeffree Star anymore, but I already had these brushes. I'm not gonna spend more money. I mean, I already bought them, you know? The damage is done, but I do not support him anymore. My mirror is over here, by the way, that's why I keep looking off. So then I take my CoverGirl Clean Professional. It is a loose powder. It is in shade Translucent Light because I am see-through. And I just kind of fluff it all around my face, very, like very little of it, just to like kind of set some of that stuff down because it is, it does make me look very dewy, which I like, but like not too much, you know? So I just kind of, do a light dusting. Then I will typically put on this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer, uh, Invisi Pink. Um, this stuff is great. I love this. And yes, I rub it in with my finger. It's the easiest way, all right? I have the Glossier Boy Brow in brown and in clear. Uh, depending on the day, I will use either one. I think today I'm going to use the brown one. And you can see like it kind of fills in those little more sparse patches in your eyebrows, but I do still go through with a pencil in a little bit too. And I haven't had my eyebrows done in months because of staying at home, so they're not as perfect as they usually used to be, but they'll do. So then I use my Maybelline, <laughs> I'm like, I've sharpened it so much, it's so small, I can't even tell the brand anymore. It's Maybelline Precise Shaping Pencil. Um, I like this because I can sharpen it with a little pencil sharpener, and it's sharp all the time. Um, it's very cheap drugstore eyebrow pencil, and it's my favorite thing I've ever used. And then I'll go in with like a Q-tip or something. If I feel like I have gone too hard on certain places. That's pretty good, good enough. Then I will use, let's see, what am I feeling today? I think I'm just gonna go with a simple brown. I'm gonna be using the Storybook Cosmetics Wizardry and Witchcraft eyeshadow palette. Uh, my friend Jenny got me this for my birthday years ago and I still use it so much. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows. It's just like, such good quality, such good colors. Look at those colors, beautiful. You can see the ones that I've used the most. I've hit pan, as they would say. Um, I'm gonna take this broomstick color uh, here. Boop, 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 boop. And just kind of brush it all over. All right, then we've got our base kind of shadow down. Then I take like a stiffer brush like this, not so fluffy, and I'll dip into the Villains ColourPop Misunderstood palette. It's like these. It's got a lot of shimmer, glittery um, shades. So I'll take whichever color I'm feeling. I'm feeling this Underworld color. It's kind of like an orangey brown. And I just dab it right on like the inner corner and like the inner part of the uh, eyelid. Like the inner half, really. And just kind of softly brush it over. Then I take another fluffy brush. 
um, and use this Naked Urban Decay Basics palette that I've had for like probably way too long. <laughs> and I dip into the color Boxy, which is kind of like a nude yellowish shade. And I blend the edges with that. And then I use this Venus. It's kind of more of a shimmer, kind of more of a shimmery color, um, nude. And I do on right underneath my brow bone. Oh my god, I got a lot in that. Um, that was a little too much, more than I planned. Q-tip to the rescue. And then next, this is something that I have like learned slash invented, I didn't invent this, but I basically discovered, that's what I was looking for. I discovered this this year because I was really tired of doing eyeliner, um, like liquid eyeliner, because it takes me so long. It takes so much concentration for me to do liquid eyeliner, and I was tired of doing that at home when I wasn't even going anywhere. So I am using one of these brushes that I have never used before in like packs of brushes that have like the angled brush, you know? Um, people use them for eyebrows and stuff, but I've never used these brushes until now. I dip it into a black eyeshadow and then I do like eyeliner with eyeshadow and it's like way easier to do it with this than to do it with liquid eyeliner, for me at least, for me. I'm sorry, there's like absolutely no way you're gonna be able to see me do this because I need to be like right up on my mirror <laughs> and I can't do that to the camera, I'm sorry. Basically what I'm doing is just like this just like dusting it right along my lash line. I used to always be very like, that's not what it's made for kind of girl. Like eyeshadow is only for eyeshadow. You can't use eyeshadow to be eyeliner. But now I'm like learning that makeup is like literally whatever you want it to be because it's all safe to go on your face. So like some things are like not recommended to go on your eyes, but if it's already made for the eyes, like eyeshadow, why can't you use it for eyeliner? That's a trick question, you can. And then I guess, I don't know, sometimes I do this out of order, but I use the Glossier Halo Scope Highlighter Stick and I do it right on my nose. I do it right here, and I do it right here, and I do it right here. And I go Just for a little sparkle, not sparkle. Glow. And if I really want to sparkle, then I go in with my Fenty Beauty highlight kit, which is very well loved in this household, as you can see. I have the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal set, and I am using Lightning Dust now because it's a little more tame than the Crystal one. And I just go over the same places where I put the Glossier highlight stick. Then I do this awesome trick that I learned from YouTube beauty gurus where I take my eyelash curler and I take a hair dryer and I like warm it up and then you curl your eyelashes and they stay for longer and they get bigger and it's easier to like mold them basically because it's it's kind of like straightening your hair, you know, with a flat iron or whatever, but it's your eyelashes. Just be careful with this, don't get it too hot because it will hurt because it's going on your eyes. Just a few seconds, that's all you need. I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Shout out to my friend Bria for recommending this to me. It's the best mascara I've ever had. It's everything that I've ever wanted in a mascara. So I will never stop using this. I try very hard not to open my mouth when I'm doing mascara <laughs> because I'm like, no, I will not give in. But then sometimes I do. I don't know why it's easier. It like opens your eyes more when your mouth's open, that doesn't make any sense. And then I usually finish it off with a Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Right now I'm gonna use the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm color. It's kind of like a brown, neutral-y. And that's the finished makeup look. Okay, so then for my hair, which I had pulled back with a clippy just so I could do my makeup. I think I'm gonna go for like a mini pigtail situation today. So my hair, I straightened my hair two days ago. Um, my hair is pretty straight already, but you know, with short hair, if you lay on it, it just like bends. So let's do a middle part. Let me get my comb actually. Why is doing a middle part like so hard for me? 
my hairdresser does it and it's like boom bang bomb directly down the middle of your head no that's good enough <laughs> Wait, it's not, it's not good enough. That is good enough. So if you have short hair or colored hair um, and you don't wanna shower every day, you don't wanna wash your hair every day, right? I mean, everyone shouldn't, no one should be washing their hair every day because it's bad for your hair, but I really don't wash my hair for like a week. So I use Living Proof uh, Dry Shampoo now and it's pretty awesome. Do a little spritz. Let it sit there for a minute and I shake it in, brush it in. All right, and then I'm gonna take a section here. About yay big and then try to get a similar section. <laughs> here no nope, this side is way bigger <laughs> getting even sections on either side of my hair is also a big struggle for me okay and that's I like that I haven't actually done this with my hair yet but I think I like it uh, and then I'm gonna go re straighten this part here it's like can you see it I don't like when it like flips out like that I want it to be like straight so I'm gonna go straighten that really quick now this is definitely more than I do on a usual day but this is on a day where I'm feeling like I want to play with makeup and I want to feel cute and look cute and I am cute so you're welcome I'll see you guys tomorrow thank you for watching bye